So I actually think that the JD Vance thing backfired so spectacularly that they're probably figuring out who they should replace him with right now. What they have done though is piss off a bunch of people on the other side that are now way more mobilized to go out and vote just to spite Trump. Especially when you put this all together with the fact that the birth rates have been dropping like crazy over the past few years. You just gave Kamala Harris a huge new base of voters that are gonna vote for her out of spite that JD Vance said that. I agree with YB Edit that they shot themselves in the foot with JD Vance because they they picked this young, you know, sort of vigorous, super conservative guy that represents supposedly like Appalachia, even though his bona fides in that background is kind of sketchy and doesn't necessarily align with that book he wrote. Probably her not having biological children, if I had to guess, that was probably a choice. Because at a certain point, if she wanted to have, ki have kids, she would have had them. I don't think she ever intended to have them. So technically she qualifies as a child free, even though she married someone with children because his children were older, I think when they got married, they're like in their twenties now, like maybe late twenties. But with the Uno reverse that the Democrats have played on them, they've now basically got a professional child free woman who didn't get married until she was 50, who's super badass, super qualified, who prioritized her education and her career over getting married, this election from the GOP side is basically an attack on single women, single women without children. Even in spite of the fact that most of the women that have abortions are already mothers, abortion is culturally associated with single women because it's assumed that like, oh, single women are out here slutting it up and that's why, you know, we need abortions. And they've already insulted rich aunties to the point where now we're, we're pissed. So even some single professional women that maybe weren't necessarily that big of a fan of Kamala might just vote for her now out of spite. Because the single professional women, especially the professional black women, Black women generally are super, super mobilized. And honestly, Kamala did something today that really pissed me off, that damn press release about the protest in DC. But still, at this point, it like no matter what she does, I'm definitely still gonna vote for her. Because an an the one thing that is really sustaining me right now, every time I get pissed off of at some like mistake she makes, some little mistake, really for me, I'm petty. I want J.D. Vance and Donald Trump to lose to a professional black woman who never had children. I want them to lose to her. I want them to lose to the person who represents all the things they hate the most. Black woman, professional, not a mother. A woman who's been able to go throughout her life, make whatever career decision she wanted to, unencumbered by small children. A woman who hasn't had to serve a man ever. I want them to lose to a woman who has prioritized and centered herself for her entire adult life. She's never had to defer to a man to make any decisions about her life because she didn't attach herself to one until she was a fully formed person with a thriving career at a point in her life where she, was, she had such a solid sense of self that no man could have told her what to do, could have convinced her to defer to him. So she's never had to do that. She's never done it and they hate that because these kinds of men think that all women should be serving men at some point in their lives. Like it's okay for you to do your ooh, fun career single years, but like after a certain period of time, they're like, okay, um, you're 25, 27. Shouldn't you be serving a man now? Shouldn't you be popping out some kids? She got the cheat code. A week ago, this election was about the people running. It was about Trump and Biden. Now the election's about a whole other thing. 
It's, it's literally about single women versus married misogynistic assholes. J.D. Vance represents every guy who's ever talked over you in a meeting. Every guy who's ever gotten a promotion that you should have gotten. Every guy who's ever harassed you on the street. The ex-husband who trapped you with children and tried to crush your soul and kill your dreams. The guy who manipulated you into dropping out of Juilliard so you could move to the country and pop out eight babies. He's every XY archetype that we've been telling people to avoid. And that's what this election is now. He's the guy in the TikTok live that calls you a 304. It's single woman versus podcast bro. They fucked up big time. And we're going to crush them.